Hey everyone, welcome back to the Weeble tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to learn how to add and customize our studies on the Weeble desktop platform. Now starting off with, we're going to make sure we're on the stocks page. So over here on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And from there, you can see I'm already looking at a micron chart right here in front of me. Before diving into the studies, the first thing I want to do is actually maximize this chart so we can get a closer up look at things. So to do that, all we have to do is come up here to the upper right hand corner, click on those three little lines. From there, we're going to come down to maximize to maximize this chart. Now, for those of you new to Weeble, in order to access the indicators or the studies, all we have to do is come up here to the upper left hand corner. The very first icon looks like a little square with kind of a squiggly line going through it. That's your indicators button. Once you click on that, you're going to see some of the indicators pop up on the right hand side. This is going to be stuff like moving averages, Bollinger Bands, VWAP, MACD, RSI, and volume. Now, if you already have these indicators set up the way you like it, all you have to do is click on them and the actual study is going to pop up on our chart. Like right there, when I clicked on moving average, that was the five period moving average that popped up on our chart just now. If I click on it again, it's going to disappear. If I came over to Bollinger Bands and I clicked on that, it's going to add the Bollinger Bands the way I have them set up. Now, in order to edit those indicators, because let's say I didn't want to use the five period moving average every time I clicked on this, all I would have to do is come over here to the edit button on the right hand side. Once you click on edit, the indicator settings are going to come up. And this is where we're going to actually go to edit the indicators that we're going to be using on our studies. Now, right now you can already see I've got the moving averages highlighted. That's what MA stands for, moving average. And on the right hand side, you can see the lengths that are currently set up. Now, each one of these lengths is going to be dependent on the chart that we're looking at. So if we're looking at a one minute chart, this is the five minute average. If we were looking at an hourly chart, it would be the five hour average. So all we're doing is telling it the period that we want to reference. So in this case, let's say we typically use the 50 period moving average. So we'll go ahead and type in 50 here. And we also use the 200 period moving average. So we're going to go ahead and throw 200 in here as the second line. Now that we're happy with that, we're going to change the style of the lines to the colors that we prefer to use. So we're going to come over here to style. You can now see that the periods have been changed. They were five and I don't remember what the second one was, but they now say 50 and 200. We're going to check mark both of those. And now that they're both checkmarked, that means anytime I hit MA up here in the upper left, both of those indicators are going to pop up, both the 50 and the 200. Now you can use whatever colors you want for these moving averages, but I typically use blue for 50 and I use gold for 200. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Click on the purple color and we're going to use one of these presets on the left hand side. This bluish color looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and OK to that. And then the second one, I'm going to change it to more of a goldish color, but that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and hit OK to that and we're going to hit done. And now down here at the bottom, you can see I've added the 50 period moving average and the 200 period moving average. Now, since I'm looking at a minute chart, you can see that in the lower left hand corner. That means this is the 50 minute moving average versus the 200 minute moving average. If I wanted this to be the 50 day versus the 200 day, all I'd have to do is click on the letter D down here. And now it is a daily chart. So we can see the 50 period moving average for Micron is currently $75.81. Whereas the 200 moving average is $79.42. Now to get rid of both of those indicators, all I would have to do is click on moving average up here in the upper left and they both are going to disappear. If I wanted to take a look at some of the other indicators I have, let's go back to the edit button for a second. And you can see there are a ton in this list right here. Some of these I'm not at all familiar with, but you're going to see stuff like Bollinger Bands. You're going to see stuff like EMA, that's exponential moving average. If we scroll down a little bit, we're going to see stuff like volume weighted average price. That's VWAP. You're going to see ADX. There are quite a few in this list. I don't know them all, but if we wanted to add one of the more popular ones, we can take a look at RSI. We'll go ahead and click on the little check mark next to it to add it to our chart. And now we can see it's down here in the very bottom of our chart. If we wanted to take a look at what length that's referencing, we'll go ahead and click on RSI to check out the period. And it looks like the second one is a 14 period RSI. So we'll check out the style. And that's the one we already have selected. So right now, this blue line right here is the 14 period RSI, which normally is the default for RSI, even on different platforms. That just means if we're looking back on a daily chart, it's using the 14 day RSI. If we went to a minute chart, it'd be the 14 minute RSI, same as the moving averages. If we wanted to also take a look at, let's go back up to the top and select VWAP right here. We can see that it's going to show up as a kind of orangish gold line. If we wanted to change that to maybe more of a purple line, we can go ahead and click on that and hit OK. From there, once we hit done, if we were to come up here to VWAP, you're going to see that the color has changed and it's right here. If we were to zoom in a little bit, you can see it a little bit more clearly. And again, to get rid of VWAP, all we'd have to do is click on it up here at the top. And to do the same to RSI, we just have to click on it once again. 
Now, I know I went through that quick, but hopefully it answers all of your questions about how to add and customize studies on your own on the Weeble platform. There's really not that many studies to add in Weeble, and there's really not that much customization compared to another platform like Thinkorswim. So this was a pretty short video in that regard. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions at all for me, please leave them down below. Also, do me a favor and hit that like button on your way out if you did find this video helpful and be sure to check out some of my other tutorial videos if you'd like to learn more. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.